When it comes to Pentecost, there are few symbols that are as familiar to us as the one of fire. Our story tells us tongues of fire reached down. But we need to remember that tongues of fire, they don't just appear out of nowhere. There is always a spark first, a flicker. So I'm going to make a little platform for it. Normally, you'd like if you didn't have bark lying around like this, you'd take like a log or something and chisel it down the middle. It could be really tiny and then just make like a little basically area for it to sit on. Um, so I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to turn that into my fire building platform, I guess. And then I'm going to just probably scrape out a little bit of the ground just so it's, um, just so that there's nothing that's going to catch outside of it. But yeah, just so you can see like how wet the dirt is down there. If that gets onto the tinder bundles, then it's not going to light. But this is also what's going to prevent us from starting a wildfire, which is low on my list of priorities. Sweet. So I'm going to take this, we're going to lay it down. And that's what I'm going to build my fire on, just so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't get any moisture from there. If this was all brown, this is what I'd use. But you just basically want stuff that's so dried out, has no moisture left in it. You're gonna pack it into sort of like a, almost like a tinder ball, but it's loose enough so that air can get through. And this stuff's great because there's not a lot of dirt on it, so there's nothing blocking the, the airflow. It's just, that's too live. But this stuff, which I already gathered, is a lot more dry. We're just gonna pick out some of the dirt. Again, make it so that when I blow through it, I can actually feel it on my hand on the backside because that's where all of your oxygen's gonna feed the fire. And that flicker can be a flicker of hope. It can be a point of ignition. But getting that first spark, it isn't always easy. And even then, getting that spark to then catch hold and grow, grow into what we come to know as a fire, well, that can be a real challenge. The early church knew this spark, knew this flicker well. And this was their task to take this tiny flame, this tiny flicker and grow it into something substantial. And today, our church is facing a transformation not unlike that that took place in Jerusalem all those years ago. We are sensing a flicker, a spark of anticipation, of excitement, of hope, as we look to what it might mean to be the church together in the future.